To start Excel, click on Start button. All Programs, Microsoft Office, and Excel. You will be open with your spreadsheet. You can increase the width by drag these corners. You can also increase the height of columns by increasing this. Paste it here. If I want to change the font style, you can use any one of these. Multiple font styles are available here. You can choose any one of these if I choose this. You can also increase the size by using this option. You can also enhance the size by using this option or you can decrease the size by using this option. These are the alignments, upper alignment, middle alignment and lower alignment. You can also change the orientation or direction into upper, down or vertical. If I change it to upper, this will look like this. If I write here, welcome. You can align the welcome in, you can align welcome in left center and right according to you as you want you can also change the format style by bold it italic it or underline it there is another drop down that is double underline you can also use double underline option it will highlight your or give it to your text with double underline. You can also give a border to your text or to your column. Outside border. It will give outside border. You can remove a border by no border. You can highlight the you can highlight your column, select this column by this option or by more color you can remove your highlight by no fill you can also change the font color by using this option or by using more color option this font color will be changed you can also merge your row by using this option if you want to merge your row click there and click merge across it will merge your whole row you can also merge it as merge and center your text will become into a center I write here whatever I will write here that will goes into the selected column if I write here 20 and I want to use symbols I can use any symbol I want to use dollar or euro if I use dollar dollar will be placed here I can also increase the zeros by this or decrease zeros by this. I can also use percentage sign like this. If I want to format it, click on format as table, click on this, your table will be formatted. You can change the format into number of colors. You can also insert 
a cell if i want to insert a cell here we can insert cell shift cell down or whatever you want to use click okay the cell will be created here if i have written here my document and i want to insert a cell here click insert and i want to insert a cell here click insert entire row click okay a row will be inserted here if i want to delete click on delete a row will be deleted or you can use delete cell or a sheet row i want to delete a cell the cell will be deleted entire row click okay the entire row will be deleted i can you also use this symbol if i want to sum or average or whatever i want to do click on the cell choose sum option now i want to sum 23 you have to put comma between two numbers in copy paste and press enter your sum will be done if you want to find something click on find If I want to find my, click on my, find next. My cell will be highlighted. If I want to replace my, if I want to replace my with, this is my. If if you click on find all, if you click on replace, it will replace only. the selected cell and if you click on replace all it will replace all the my into this is my from the whole document click replace and close your my is converted into this is my there is another very special option that is if i highlight it as this underline it and give it a color and i want this and i want the same format click on this this is a format painter format painter is used to copy formatting from one place to the another select the cell click on format and place it this cell this cell will be totally changed according to this if i want to copy it click on this option or control plus c to copy or paste it control plus v or by using paste option it will be paste 